So Kelly, listen, the audience is here. You know how this works. So who has the first question for Kelly? Hi, Kelly. Hi. We've never seen you and Christy fight like that. And Christy said that you never called while she was on suspension. How do you feel about that? I see Christy and the other moms more than I see my husband. So obviously we're going to fight. I don't know why Christy said I didn't call her. Three yeah. times I called Christy. Yeah. She did not call me three she times. Didn't call you she did not call on the bus. She called you more than once. Mm -hmm. I know in my heart that I called her, and I and did. Who cares? That's like seventh I, I grade. I did, who cares? you know? And she kept making comments, well, if I didn't answer the phone, then you should have came to my house. And I agree with that. I'm not in high school anymore. I'm not going to drive to your house if you're not going to answer my phone call. If you don't want to talk to me, then don't talk to me. But you guys really went at it. So let's bring Christy out and see what she has to say. Please welcome Christy. Oh Hi, Christy. God. Welcome. Hello. Have a seat. Thank you. You look fantastic. Oh, thank you. Let's get right to it. You said that Kelly never called you. Kelly and I talk probably three and four times a day, and she didn't call for a few days. And there was a lot going on with Chloe's hat, and there was a lot of emotions running high. And when Kelly had gone through those things with her girls, I was always her biggest cheerleader. And when am I never there for Chloe? No, I didn't say that. I said that you didn't call me for a few days. And that's very honest. Christy, you know what? You don't want to go there. No, but Kelly, you don't want to the go truth. there. It's the truth. No, it is not the truth. Well, Why would you say that you're my kid's biggest advocate and I wasn't? Because any time, and you can ask Abby, who can't stand either one of us, who was sticking up for your kid? No, I knew that Abby was going to come in and take things out on Chloe. Abby's emotions were running high that day because Kathy was there. And, and she so were yours. Okay. And that's why when I said something about Kelly, the hat being dropped, oh my God. you flipped on me. I did not. I just said, yes, you stop did. bringing it up. You don't think it. that Abby noticed that that hat fell? No, yeah. but I know that I protect you The whole you entire and your audience did. That wasn't the problem, Kelly. Oh, yes, you it know was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Well, I think part of the problem was the whole turn section at the beginning was screwed up by Chloe. And let's yeah, talk about uh, our Kendall beating Chloe, too. Chloe gets beat all the time. You make sure of that. I'm used to that. It had nothing to do with it. Not by Kendall. Why are you so smug about it, Abby? Do you really I'm not, because your... that's why you were angry. That's, that's why you were agitated. I, angry. I don't feel that I was wrong. I wanted to leave, because frankly, I was sick of Chloe being treated the way that Abby treats her, because she came back with a vengeance this year, because she hates me. OK, I'm finished. No, no, no. She's yeah, not... yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I did not say anything wrong. So, Christy, why do you feel as though, uh, because as though Abby's tough on Chloe? I mean, no, it's not tough on her. There's a difference between being tough and being cruel. It's not a big issue. Your kid got beat. Yeah. She can't dance anymore, and you can't handle it. Yeah. Go to Girl Scouts. Who says to a person, Blondie, girl, you? I mean, that's very demeaning to a child. You don't want me to say stupid anymore? I looked up dim, dim-witted, half-wit. I got lots of words. My students learn from their mistakes. She has not learned anything. So Kelly, when you, I mean, knowing Christy as well as you know her, when you could see that she was really upset more than she's ever been upset before, like what? Well, the whole fight started because, and her whole leaving started because I said something no, about it Chloe dropping it. her hat. No, Kelly, that wasn't it. You said that and I snapped at you, but that wasn't the reason. The reason was Abby was gonna come in there and attack Abby Chloe. Abby comes in and attacks my kids every time they do it. Yeah, dance. and so then you should understand where I was coming exactly. from. Exactly, I did understand. That's why I called you. You can sit here and lie, but we talk every day and you waited for days. Well, clear, clearly the two of you, you haven't completely patched this up yet. I'm actually a little surprised that it came out and it was such a big thing because I feel like we've moved past it, but maybe Kelly hasn't. All right, you want to take a question from the audience? Sure. All right, so who's got a question for Christy? Yeah. Hi, Christy. Hi. I was wondering whether you thought it was possible for Chloe to have the type of relationship with Abby that Abby has with Maddie. Oh, never. Abby will never treat Chloe like that. She likes Maddie, she doesn't like Chloe bottom of the line. But do you really think that has to do with Chloe or does it have more I, to do with your relationship? She doesn't like me and she doesn't care for my daughter. If I liked somebody, I wouldn't be calling him a sneak, a snake, a liar. She clearly doesn't like Chloe. And I don't think there's anything that Chloe or I can do that will ever ensure that Abby will have a good relationship with her. You got so mad and punched a camera. I didn't punch a camera. I pushed the camera away from so me. So you pushed a camera? Yes. Do you feel like you overreacted now looking back on that? Certainly. I. I don't normally push cameramen in my day-to-day -day life, but you know, your natural instinct as a mother is to protect your child. And at that point, I just wanted to be left alone. I wanted to get in the cab. I wanted to go home, back to my normal life. 
and remove myself from this. And I came back this season trying not to fight with Abby so she would treat my kids better. And she still doesn't treat them better. Why do you think that is? Do you think it's because she has an issue with the way you parent your yes. kids as it pertains to dance? Yes, I do. She okay. just doesn't flat out like me. She feels that I am a threat to her because I don't back down and bow down to her like Melissa does. Um, Abby is a dance teacher. She provides a service. And she does that service, but she has no right to dictate the rest of our lives. Let's switch gears for a second and talk about Jill. How have you guys seen Jill, like, change in the time that you've known her? She got rid of her 900 voice. And the poof, <laughs> the poof is gone. She got rid of the poof. Um, you know what? I like Jill. I know sometimes Jill can be a little shrill, but I think she's funny. Oh, and I'm just like Jill because you like to make fun of her outfit. Oh, my God. Jill gives me banter for days. Uh, she showed up one time dressed like Puss in Boots, yeah. okay? Let's see what she's dressed like today. Please welcome Jill. Jill. <laughs> No cowboy hat, no Muppets. <laughs> She's showing a little leg, though. Jill's got a good set of legs. Okay, legs okay, boobs and I, boobs. I was being nice. I said you have good legs. So, Jill, this season, fans saw you scream. They saw you storm <laughs> out. They saw you throw water on Kathy. Looking back on all those moments, what was the thing that made you the angriest? I think Kathy really made me angry. And the funny thing is, she continues to make me angry. More angry than Abby? When she does, because Kendall? I pay Abby to critique my child. Kathy gets under your skin, big time. Yeah. Kathy gets under my she skin. Does. I don't think she has the right to say the things that she says. Well, she clearly knows how to push your buttons, without a doubt. All right, so Jill, do you want to take some questions from the audience? Because they have a ton yeah. of questions. Yeah. Who's got a question for Jill? Hi, Jill. You hired your own costume designer for Kendall this season, and you got new headshots. Why is that so important to you? Well, it's my business to make sure that she is the best she can be. So I will do whatever it takes for my daughter to feel good about herself and to get her the best that I can. Who else has a question for Jill? My question is, um, why did you think that you had to hide um, the private lessons? OK, it really wasn't even a private lesson. Gianna had walked by, and I said, can you look at her number and can you help her out? But I think what our problem was, it was a duet. and. When you do a duet, it's all about doing it together. And she went and had the private lesson out in the hallway and didn't think to call Nia in. Is that true? Um, that's true. I didn't invite Nia. I didn't see it as a private lesson because mm -hmm. what she was doing didn't really pertain to the choreography of the duet. Unfortunately, Holly took offense to it, and I would never offend another child or a mom on purpose. I guess I would think twice about having her work on something in a duet without the other child. But, but you didn't think twice, because we confronted you about it at the studio, and then two days later, you yeah, did it, it at the competition. We're going to have to agree to disagree. It was not a no, private not lesson. Long. That's her job to do that. It's not my job to run in and say, wait, you can't help her until I get all the other kids out here. You have to help everybody. No. Yeah, this is another one of those we're never going to agree about that. No. So let's just move not. on. Aren't you glad you asked? <laughs>